Yes, yes. Let's start the pickups. What's up, guys? It's your boy back at you for another week of pickups. Are you guys ready? Well, of course you are, because that's why you're watching this video. And I'm glad you guys came this week, because this week I actually found some decent games out in the wild. And I found them for really good prices. So let's get right into this week of pickups. As you guys saw, I went to the Van Buren swap meet, and I ran into a couple vendors that actually had some games, looked through them, picked some up. First one that I found was for the Xbox, and I found this one before. I've actually flipped it for 15 bucks, and I might do it with this one as well. I'm not sure. It is a pretty clean copy, but that is Star Wars Knights Old Republic. <laughs> Very nice, clean copy. Oops. That's all I got from that one vendor. It was five bucks for that game, which is a really good deal. Um, I ended up finding another vendor that had a bunch of games um, for like the Xbox 360 and stuff like that. You know, the system, a system that I don't have. So I ended up passing. But what he did have was some Game Boy Advance games. And there was two of them that I was actually interested in. Uh, he said seven bucks a piece, which would have been 14 I was like, can you do 10 for both? And he was like, all right. So basically five bucks a piece. So I picked up uh, Mario Party Advance. Not bad. And then I picked up Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Yeah. Oh, oh. Look at go. Very nice find right there for five bucks. And that's all I got from that vendor. I ended up walking around a little bit more. Ran into another vendor that actually had several GameCube games, but only one that I was really interested in. And it was pretty funny because a lot of the games that she was pricing were a lot higher. She had some Wii games in there as well. She wanted more money for those. And then she came across one GameCube game that I was actually interested in. And surprisingly, she said five bucks. And this too is also a super clean copy. Kirby's Air Ride. It is complete. With manual. And disc. Which is in pretty good condition. It's a little dirty, but I'm going to clean it up. But no scratches. Uh, but definitely glad to find that one out there in the wild. Especially for five bucks. You can't beat that. I also found one more vendor. Lady was, had a bunch of games over there. I thumbed through them all. It took me a couple minutes to go through. And I found three titles that I actually didn't mind picking up to have for my collection. And uh, they're only two bucks a piece. And uh, there's some decent titles over here. Uh, the first one that I got I've never seen before. And that is Ratchet Clank Size Matters. <laughs> never seen this before uh, I thought I had all the Ratchet and Clank games but apparently I didn't uh, the, the case on this is not the greatest I'm gonna try and find a sport game to replace the case with but everything else on this thing is in good condition a disc is there uh, manuals there everything's complete uh, not bad for two bucks um, this game right here I thought maybe I might have had this game before maybe it was a different variant different label but apparently it's a total different game uh, and that is Transformers This game actually looks pretty cool. Looks like a pretty fun game. It's from Atari, so, you know, could be a hit and miss. Most likely it's probably not that good, but uh, I'll definitely give it a shot. Check it out, see if it's any good. Uh, but the last one I picked up from the lady, I was pretty excited about. For two bucks, I have this already on the Nintendo 64. But now I have it for the Xbox, and that is Conker's Live and Reloaded. Bam! <laughs> And once again, complete. I could not believe I saw that, and the lady only went two bucks for that. Uh, but I also ended up hitting up a couple thrift stores, uh, and then one of the Goodwills, uh, the Goodwill store actually found a couple games in there. Almost missed them. I almost missed them. 
but something told me to keep looking and I found there was a bin that somebody brought out they're getting ready to restock some of the shelving units and something told me to lift this purse that was sitting on top and lo and behold there was several PS2 games inside there or underneath that purse I'm glad I checked it out because there was a couple games that I found that I did not have a little pricey five bucks a piece but let me show you what they were first one that I got I had the first one to this one uh, but I didn't have the second one and that is destroy all humans I hear this one's a lot of fun. It looks like I don't know. I don't know if this one's better than the first one, but the first one's definitely a lot of fun to play. So definitely glad to add that one into my collection. But I'm really glad to add this one to my collection. I was like, wow, never played this game before, but I do see a lot of people talking about it here. Nothing but great things. Definitely glad to add this to my collection. And that is none other than Clock Tower Three. It is also complete. The uh, the only bad thing about this is the uh, the artwork is a little faded. Probably sat out in the sun for a little while. Maybe sat uh, sat at a booth at a swap meet or something. The guy was asking way too much money for it, and nobody wanted to pull the trigger. Um, but for five bucks, I'd definitely pull the trigger on this thing. Clock Tower Three, I'll definitely give it a go. And um, I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. But that is actually all I got for the week. I didn't order anything in the mail. Believe it or not, all that money that I got selling some stuff online, I actually spent it all. Bought a lot of DVDs, bought a lot of games. And now i got to sell some more, more stuff so I can start buying more stuff online. But that looks like that's going to do it for this week, guys. I uh, definitely found a lot of good stuff out there. As you guys are watching this video, obviously Thanksgiving has already gone by. So I want to wish everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving. Um, actually, my daughter cooked a really great dinner today. Uh, even though it's only Tuesday while I'm filming this. But um, you know I'm always stuck at work, so she decided to throw a Thanksgiving dinner on Tuesday. So it was really nice to have a little family get together and eat some delicious food. And it was good. My belly is full, believe it or not. And um, that's going to do it for this week, guys. Uh, I'm the host, the Fluffy Gamer, and I will see you guys the next time. Bye bye. <laughs>